Hey, so uh, Truth Me Dog to the South Patrol. Uh, I'm here at Cash and Fitness, trying to join the team. I'm all about it. I'm ready to get fit, ready to compete, and I'm just blessed to be here. Thank you, sir. It just walked in like you got to tell the story. Yeah, so what happened was uh, me and my husband was talking about her and whatnot, and uh, we were trying to figure out what was going on. Whoa. Wait a minute. Me and my who? Hold on now. We just we just gonna go ahead and <laughs> we just go ahead and bring that back. I I wasn't expecting that. Oh, then like you gotta tell the story. Yeah. So what happened was uh, me and my husband was talking about her and whatnot, and uh, we were trying to figure out what was going on. So I'm driving around trying to figure out where the uh, gym is, and I came in sitting there on the couch, and uh, I think it's a blessing 100 percent that uh, I'm here today. Let's get it. Let's go on ahead and uh, gonna knock it out. wreck up these awards. We're going to knock it out. Yes. I was not expecting her to say that she had a husband. The energy don't give, I got a husband. The energy gives, I am the husband. I'm just being honest. We're not going to act like she's not pretty. She's very pretty. But I wasn't expecting that. Y'all wasn't expecting that neither. So I talked to my crush, right? And I said, hey, you know, we talked. I said, how's it going? How's your day? You know, nothing serious. And then he messaged me. It was so great chatting with you, my sister in Christ. I was friend zone. Shout out to the man that friend zone her. I feel as though us men should do a lot more friend zoning. Instead of being so open and willing and putting ourselves in a line of fire to be taken advantage of, we should start friend zoning more of these women. These tens, these nine and a halves. Put them in the friend zone. Let them crawl their way back out. Now I know it's hard because one man's trash is another man's treasure. So in the process of you putting her in the friend zone and trying to vet her to see if she deserves the Johnson & Johnson, somebody else is going to shower her and put up with her nonsense just so they could take her to Stroke City. And in the meantime now, she might forget about you. Okay, what makes him not your type? Um, He's too slim and just, I think, the hair. Um... I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his 30s. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And um, I know you had to pop a her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Okay. Um, it seems uh, in your 34, I didn't, I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, so that's kind of why I popped. But okay, yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smooth insult to tell a woman that she's she looks older than her actual age. Oh my god! Bullet, bullet, yo, you a savage. I think I'm gonna start reacting to more of these videos. Some of these clips are hilarious. Like I told y'all before, it shows you how childish people become when it comes to dealing with rejection. A lot of people aren't built for rejection. And to be honest with you, the concept of popping a balloon, to hear that pop, and that pop signifies being rejected, that's traumatic. <laughs> I hate extra ass people. I get upset because of situations like this in my household. For example, my wife might be walking to the car. And you know, we live in the South. In the South, we have, they call them water bugs. I call them roaches. She might be walking to the car and see a water bug outside and get to screaming and hollering. And, oh my God! Oh my God! RJ, come quick! Come quick! I'm in the house thinking somebody trying to rob her. I grab my strap, run outside. She on top of the car because she see a water bug walking in the driveway. Why you can't step on it? Why are you hooting and hollering and acting like the world about to end over this goddamn roach? The same person jumping over cars over this little ass roach. People get on your nerves. She'll tell you about yourself in a heartbeat. If you have that much energy and bravery to tell people about themselves without worrying about the repercussion, because, you know, somebody might not like what you're saying and might hit you in the face. Well, you know, if they do that, then, you know, I'm, you know, I'm coming. But somebody can do that. I feel as though those people are way more dangerous than this little ass roach that you could just step on. So one of my guy friends gave me permission to make a hinge account for him because I was telling him how easy dating is with 
dating apps, and he was telling me that it's incredibly difficult. And I was like, Pete, you must be doing something wrong. And he gave me permission to create an account for him and just run the account. I've been a virtual boy for three days, and I've, I've never felt this bad about myself. I feel like a freaking loser trying to get these girls to like me. And I'm starting to hate women because I'm like, I mean, Pete. You see, Pete's about a six. But I'm so desperate, I'm liking the twos and the threes, and even they don't like me back. Pete, which is a six. Um, so what level of delusion has entered women's head, heads? Like, what is going on? It is so difficult dating as a boy. I hate it. I'm on day three of being a boy, and I hate women, and I'm depre more depressed than ever. I love seeing this. I love seeing this. Even though she's walking in our shoes virtually, she still get a glimpse of what men go through. Sometimes, as a man, you might sit there and try to explain to females what it's like to be a man. You know, how men think. And they'll look at you like, you talking bullshit. They don't believe it. And a lot of times, you just want them to walk a day in your shoe. Although it's impossible, well, virtually it's not. But sometimes you just want them to walk a day in your shoe. I've seen this story online of this young lady who lived like a man for a few months or a year or something like that. And at the end of the whole thing, it affected her mental state so bad that she ended up unalive on herself. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. So I usually stay up to around 3 a.m. playing the game, and then I go to bed. My girlfriend wakes up around 5 a.m., and then she leaves work around 6 a.m. She comes back to work around 10 a.m. for her lunch, and she usually makes me breakfast on her lunch, but today she brought me McDonald's, so I wasn't complaining. And then after this, she had to go back to work. Yo, wait, 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 wait. This, this, again, has to be satire. But then again, he's 20 years old, so he might be serious. My day in the life of a 20-year-old stay-at-home boyfriend. He might actually be serious. <laughs> well, now I just ate my breakfast, and then I decided to play the game for a little bit. I forgot my girlfriend asked me to sweep the patio before she got home, so I had to make sure to get that done real quick. Then I took our dog on a walk around the block real quick. And then I got home and decided to relax and watch some TV. My girlfriend usually comes home around 2.30. And today she had a surprise for me when she got home. Guess what? Yeah. I got her a Can you order pizza? At this point, we just ate pizza and watched our show while my girlfriend and I did some work. Fellas, do not be this guy. At 20 years old, do not be a stay-at-home boyfriend. When she leaves you for her co-worker, you can't feel bad. I ain't even gonna say she gonna cheat on you. I'm gonna give the young lady more respect than that. So when she kicks you out because her co-worker looks more of a man than you, don't feel bad. You in the house. Nigga, a stay-at-home boyfriend? That don't even sound right. I'm telling y'all, these new they built different. Is that real? Yo. Yo, that video is AI. That is an AI generated video. Y'all don't realize how scary this shit is. You know that they can generate your face on anybody. The first time I actually seen the AI stuff, they had a video with Tom Cruise. He's giving like an interview or something like that. A few months later, it turns out that the video was fake. It wasn't even Tom Cruise. It was another guy and they generated Tom Cruise's face on him. So now think about this. In the next coming years, if they want you gone, they can put your identity on somebody else's crime. Everybody is so excited about AI, but I'm scared. I'm scared about criminals being misidentified. This is stuff we used to see in the movies. 
Another thing I'm scared of, because this AI shit is so goddamn intelligent, we acting like we didn't grow up watching Terminator. The direction we're going in, Skynet could happen. I'm not even a conspiracy theorist, but think about it this way. In order for AI to create images like this, in order for AI to answer these questions that you ask it, it gathers information from all over the web. And then it makes an intelligent guess. It gives you an intelligent response. The fact that we even have a computer that can think on its own, that's scary. What if one day the computer decides, you know what, humans are bad for this earth, and somehow decides to hack into like the nuclear weapons and just let them go.